Hi guys, this is Mike. In this Cinema 4D tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the spline tools. So if we go to our front view, and we go up to our spline tools here. Now what you can do is you can pull this off if you want, and you can dock this to the side if that will help you, you know, a little bit. And we can always go to our our right click on this little uh, bar at the top of our spline tools and we can go to icon size and we can go to um, row we can make it you know a little bit easier to work with so I like kind of when I'm using something like a specific specific tool set I'll use one of these and I'll just pull this off onto the side and that way it just makes it a little bit more convenient so let's go to this pen tool and what we can do is when we're using the pen tool we can just click and drag and now give us our bezier tool handles and I can connect this connecting and closing that loop now if you want let me undo you can also just click without click and dragging and you can just have this hard sharp edge uh, hard corner when going around so you can do that as well now when using the bezier tool when you click and drag you get these bezier handles if you're used to a program like illustrator or photoshop then you'll be pretty familiar with how to use these bezier handles it's a little bit different here in in Cinema 4D. Now, when we click and drag, we can drag these points all within the same tool, by the way. You don't have to go to any other tool in order to manipulate the path. However, if you want to ez uh, edit the Bezier tool, then you'll have to go to Edit Ch Tangent uh, edit tangents mode and then when you click on it now you can maneuver and change the shape of your spline now we also have a lock a few lock options here we can lock the rotation so this is pretty handy if you want to just pull out this bezier handle and without affecting the rotation, you can see as I'm moving my cursor, it's only moving the length. And we have the same thing for the length. We can lock the length and only change the rotation. So you can see as I'm moving out, I'm not, when I'm moving the cursor, I'm not moving the length of our Bezier handle. So these are good, nice little options to have. Now, you can also hold down your command excuse me you can hold down command when you're on any of these paths and you can click on that in order to give you an another point now you can also let me undo you can also hold down command as you're hovering over a point and it will delete that that point and you can see this little ghost of it's kind of like a preview where it's going to end up after you delete that path uh, delete that point excuse me now we can also right click on a point and we can delete that point we can disconnect so what that basically means let me undo you can see this is where the end and start point is you can disconnect that and have that at this point if that's what you want and we also have hard tangent so we can make this nice and uh, sharp and let me go oops excuse me let me go back and go to hard tangent and we also have soft tangents and that will smooth that out now coming up here we also have sketch and if you use your sketch tool, you come down to your attributes manager and you bring up your radius. You can see now we have this, this radius that we can use onto our, 
our spline that we already created. Now you can create this sketch in open space, but what's really nice about this is that within this radius that we set here within this value, we can click and draw and now this creates this nice sketched out path, part of our path. Now what we can also do is we hold down shift, we can smooth out this area. Now holding down shift, you can see our attributes manager and we can bring this down the strength and we can adjust our radius if we need to. So we can smooth this out if we don't like it, if it's a little too much, we can, we can smooth that out. So it's a really nice tool. And as you'll notice, as you sketch this out, we also have our spline smooth. So it's the same thing if you're holding down shift. Holding down shift is just a modifier to help you uh, move your workflow a little bit faster, but you can also just click on the spline smooth and then you will have your your smoothing and you can smooth this out you can see this as you smooth so it's a really nice option to have now we also have spline arc now what this will do as you click on a path in between the two points you can have a very uh, have a very precise arc Say if you're doing very precision, very mechanical type drawings, you can use this as well as your attributes manager in order to adjust to a very specific arc. So this gives you some options if you're doing some very precise, uh, very precise work. So I, I particularly like this if you're going to be doing some, you can do some really nice and interesting designs kind of stuff that you just wouldn't be able to do perfectly if you're just doing it freehand. Now, going back to our pen tool, we also have options with our type. We have linear, we have cubic, we have akima, b-spline, and then back to bezier. So you, you definitely have some options one creating splines within Cinema 4D. And of course, you have a lots of different types of primitives. Same thing that we would have with our 3D objects when we bring in our primitives. We can also use some of these other primitives with our splines. And I will be making a specific tutorial just on masks and uh, primitives because there's there's a lot to get into there and you can do some really interesting stuff. But this will be a good primer if you just wanna learn how to do splines within Cinema 4D. I put a link in the description to download project files. You can also download project files from this tutorial and all the tutorials that I've made so far at astronomicskills.com. Also, I created a Udemy course for beginner 3D modeling in Cinema 4D. I would value your opinion and if you could take a look at it and review it, I would really appreciate it. Thank you.